Hello, God bless each and every one of you. Today is uh, Friday, I almost got a day ahead of myself, May the 1st. We made it another month, brothers and sisters. I hope you all are doing well. We've had a, a tough few last months, um, and hopefully uh, things are just hopefully going to start breaking out soon, and uh, things will start opening back up, because we definitely cannot continue to stay uh, closed down as a nation, even though many want that, I guess they just don't understand the longer you stay closed, the longer the economy stays shut, the harder it will be to get that economy moving again, and we cannot let that happen, brothers and sisters. Uh, I want to talk about something today, uh, that actually we're seeing a lot of, but I want to read some scripture first. This is Matthew chapter 7. Matthew's one of my favorite books of the Bible, Actually, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, what they call the four Gospels of Jesus Christ, are absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I always tell people, listen, if you, ain't, if you do not have it in you to read the whole Bible, the 66 books of the Bible, from Genesis to Revelations, which I've read several times, actually, front to back, and so forth, um, I always tell people, man, listen, at least read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. If, you, if you're just not going to read anything else in the Bible, and you can't do it for whatever reason, and I don't know why you would have any other reason, you should be able to read the Bible, but, it, but whatever, okay? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they are absolutely fantastic. Matthew chapter 7, we're going to start with verse 15. We're going to read just a few verses. So if you got your Bibles, this is King James Version. And it starts with 15, chapter 7. Beware of the false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. 16. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? 17. Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And it continues on from there, but we're going to stop there because I've only got a few minutes with my video. And that was chapter 7, Matthew chapter 7, and it starts in verse 15, and I read down through uh, verse 18, but it does continue onward for a little bit, and that's Jesus Christ speaking. It is in red, and whenever you see red in the Holy Bible, that is where Christ is actually speaking. As you can see here, that is where Jesus is actually speaking. You have to ignore all my little marks and uh, writings. I write a lot in my Bible, but that's just me. Anyways, okay, so uh, it says you will know them by their fruits. Now, I always like to try to take the Bible and correlate it with what's going on in the world today because I, I try to differentiate my channel with the rest of the Christian content that's on YouTube, which is it's wonderful, it's fabulous, don't get me wrong. But I don't see many channels specifically looking at the news looking at the events, looking at the personalities that's in uh, on the public stage today, uh, especially the ones that love promoting themselves as Christians or love evoking the name God or Christian or prayer. And I always try to, uh, you know, use the Bible. I always try to, to uh, look at, you shall know them by their fruits. That is one thing I always look at, especially when someone on a public stage tries to um, tell me they're a Christian, but I look at their lifestyle and it screams otherwise. That's what Jesus is telling us here. Ye shall know them by their fruits. And that's also what he's saying. Beware false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Now, okay... We see this today more than ever, and we see this a lot, sadly, within our politics today, because we have a president that is polarizing, to say the very least, to a lot of people on the Democratic left side. They simply cannot stand the man. 
Uh, so they will try to evoke the name God. They will try to e evoke I'm praying or they'll, or they'll use the word Christian, Christianity, to try to make themselves uh, look above and beyond that person. Uh, and that is not what God intends us to do. We are to, to love one another. And even says, Christ even tells us to love our enemies. So when you see people like uh, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, getting up on stage in front of her, uh, in front of the media, and she says she's praying for the president, or she evokes God on a consistent basis, or she loves evoking Christianity, but yet her lifestyle absolutely screams the opposite. Uh, well, uh, that that is first and foremost that is hypocrisy, but uh, she is not bearing good fruit of no kind because of the lifestyle that she leads. Not only that, the, the lifestyle that she leads. And I'm talking not just her. I'm talking. Uh, I'm taking a broad uh, brush over Washington D.C. and not only that, our political uh, group within the United States as a whole. Uh, that do this. It's, she's not the only one that does this, but they love doing. They love evoking the name God and Christian and prayer and so forth and so on, because, like I said, they think it makes them uh, beyond re uh, uh, approach. They think uh, you can't um, uh, dig into them. You can't uh, look into them what they say because they are a Christian or they pray to God or. Or, or just whatever, you know, they, they love going down that path. And, 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 and in a way, that is false prophecy. If you look at it uh, through what Christ says here in, in the book of Matthew, because they're misleading you, okay? And I'll give you several examples, but I'm going to give you one main example that I've used on this channel a myriad of times, and that is abortion. People like, the Speaker of the House, and many other Democrats on the left that love evoking God, that love evoking the, the name Christian or Christianity, that use the word prayer. Uh, they are heavily, heavily, heavily into Planned Parenthood and their support of abortion in these United States of America. They must have missed, uh, missed the whole thou shalt not kill you know, that part, that, that whole thing, you know, that, that little thing that's in the Bible, it's called the Ten Commandments from God. You know, the, the ones that, that God gave Moses uh, on the mount that came down. You know, those those Ten Commandments, uh, thou shalt not kill. I don't know what uh, you consider abortion. If you're watching me, I don't know what you consider that. But as far as I'm concerned, that is killing and if you support that, and not only support it, but vehemently support it, now, you know, you're not bearing good fruit. Uh, you cannot get up on a public stage and claim you're a Christian. I don't care, uh, you know, what, what you may think or may say, but you can't get up on a stage and claim something like that when you support that. Not only that... Uh, the, the myriad of perversions and abominations that they um, wrap their arms around and praise and glorify. This is the same thing that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for that we are seeing today within these United States of America. But yet, I don't want to get off on that. I just want to talk about these public figures that consistently want to evoke the name God because they think that that will make them better than the president That'll make them beyond reproach that you can't approach them and question their their deeds or whatever it is they're 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 doing because they're you know they're praying for the president or they evoke the name God, especially the speaker loves evoking Christian Christianity. I'm sorry, you know, I gotta call it like I see it. If you stand up and you applaud late-term abortion bills being passed in January of 2019 in New York, and absolutely giddy, I mean, not only applauding, but absolutely giddy over the passing of this, this most vile, disgusting, evil bill 
If you're absolutely giddy over that, as many in the left, and especially the speaker was in January of 2019, I'm sorry. I got to call it like I see it. Okay, you are not bearing good fruit. You're bearing evil fruit. And you are a hypocrite of the highest of orders. And we know what Jesus says about hypocrisy, do we not? Remember what he said about the Sadducees in the temple praying out the loudest or being out on the street corner praying the loudest. They wasn't doing that for uh, the glory of God. No, they were doing it for their own glorification. So people would look at them and say, oh, wow, look at so-and-so. They are so close with God. They're praying. They're, I mean, look how good their prayer life is. They're, they're out here in front of the, uh, of the public. And no, that's hypocrisy. That is exactly what Jesus calls it. And he was right on the money. And that is what we're seeing today in Washington, D.C., right now. And not only in Washington, D.C., in every state house and every congressional and senate house throughout all the states of this United States of America, throughout every single state, we see this happening. And you know what? This is your answer right here. If you want to look at, their, at what they're saying, and you want to combine what's coming out of their mouth with what they support and what they stand for, all you have to do is look right here. This will give you the answer every time. This will tell you every time. Jesus explains it. Very, very easy here in Matthew, and the 7th chapter, starting in the 15th verse. He explains it very well about how you can see about how people that bear evil fruit and good fruit. You can't have it both ways, ladies and gentlemen. And that's another thing they want. They cannot have it both ways. They cannot support their godless evil agenda on the left right here and then claim Christianity, God, prayer, Jesus on the right. They cannot do that. You cannot support both. You cannot have one foot in the world and try to have one foot with God. It does not work. We call that straddling the fence and that is not going to work. What does God say about those type of people? They're lukewarm. What does he say? He's going to spew, spew them forth from his mouth. That was hard to say. Spew them forth from his mouth. That's what God says about people like that. So to anyone out there that thinks they're a Christian and supports those evil, evil things, you have some soul searching to do, my friends. And near, I would say, some repenting is in your near future, very near future. That's all I got for you today. God bless each and of you, every one of you. Hit the subscribe button if you like my videos. Hit the like button. Listen, every subscription, every person, I know every YouTuber on the internet says this means something. But you know what? When I'm trying to do the work of the Lord and I'm trying to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout all the nations of this earth via this platform, every little subscription helps. It, it honestly helps does it'll just get us closer and closer to reaching more people in this world and that's the main thing people that it's not about me it's not about you it's about our lord and savior jesus christ plain and simple that's it take care god bless have a wonderful wonderful weekend stay safe pray for the president pray for our nation and most importantly pray for each other take care god bless and have a wonderful evening Bye bye